Okay, what we got here is Jeff and Chuck back after a few years, and we are going to do some Dutch oven cooking today. And what I'm doing right now is getting as hot of a bed of coals as I can get because I have to fry some bacon. Frying, in my opinion, is always the most difficult thing to do with one of these. So we're putting the heat to it. And we're frying some bacon pieces for the first of my uh, recipes is collard greens. And I'm working on cornbread. I'm mixing it up here. I'm going to put it in a Dutch 12-inch uh, Dutch oven, and I'll read off the ingredients once I get it in there and get it mixed up. So, I'll be back to you in just a second. Trying to get some oil in here. Get it warmed up a little bit to get the bacon started. And I'm using this big giant 12 inch deep pan because the collard greens are have a lot of volume when you start and they shrink down to nothing. So we needed the volume to start with. And we might be ready for some bacon. Oh yeah, listen to that sizzle. Now we will crisp this up, add some onions and garlic, and then I'm going to set it aside while I get my second recipe going, which is going to be chicken cordon blue casserole. I've never probably had roll at one time. cornbread mixed with a Dutch oven. I have uh, approximately 15 coals on the bottom and 15 or so on top. I'm going to make my second item which is going to be a paella, uh, which is a, a shrimp sausage mix. I'm going to set that pot on top of here so I can use the heat off of the top of this oven to the bottom of the next oven. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it up. I can give you the ingredients what I have in my cornbread here. It's uh, has yellow corn mix, flour, salt, baking powder, sugar, stick of butter, three cups of milk, four eggs, and then a cup of sugar and one can of cream corn. So uh, we'll get this going. It usually takes about an hour to bake. I'm going to mix my second item up, which is going to be the paella, and my third item is going to be uh, glazed carrots with cranberries, which we'll be doing in a separate oven. So, Going to go ahead and get started, mix the second one up, and uh, we'll keep track of them and see how they come out. All right, well, I've got the bacon frying in here. I'm putting some of the coals from the bottom on top because I'm getting ready to start the chicken cordon blue, and it's going to sit right up on top of this pan on these coals. Okay, I've got my second Dutch oven here on top. This is the start of my paella. I have my sausage in there, my uh, peppers, my celery, uh, minced garlic, and some onions. I'm going to give this a head start, and then I'll go ahead and add the rest of some of the other ingredients as we go along. All right, our bacon has started to crisp up. And into that, we will add onions. Chopped, minced, something like that. 
And we're going to cook those until the onions are translucent. And then we're going to throw in some garlic. All right, I'm moving the chicken cordon blue pot over to the top of the collard pan. We're going to use the coals on that to get this started. And we're going to put in here a mixture of uh, cream of chicken soup and milk, about a cup of milk and a can of cream of chicken soup. And we're going to use about half that. And then we add cut up pieces of chicken breast. And get a good layer in there. I may have cut up more than I need. Give me a poker here. Where did that stick? So get a good layer of those in there. And that's probably enough, but should I put the rest in? Might as well. That's more chicken than you need, but we're going to run with it. Now the ham slices. These are cut thick. Give you something to chew. And just cover the top. And last, but certainly not least, the Swiss cheese. Again, cut pretty thick. Okay, and then the rest of your can of soup and cup of milk on top. Get back over there. Well, it looks like I could have used a little more broth, but that's what we got. And last, not least, but last, no, it isn't last, a stuffing mix. One step stuffing mix. Evenly as best you can on top. And that's enough. Uh-oh. I forgot the main thing here. I need my melted butter to sprinkle over that and we're ready to go. Let's check into my paella. Paella. I've had my, my vegetables, 
and my sausage in there, getting it here again till the onions are translucent. Then we're going to add the next ingredients. This isn't quite ready, so we'll put the lid back on and come back in a little while. Okay, now you just evenly drizzle this melted butter, about a quarter of a cup, onto the top. Oh, look out, that was the end of that. I must have had enough. And then all we need is heat. And meanwhile, my onions and stuff are probably ruined. Because that took too long. Ooh. Okay, looks like this is ready. I'm gonna add my next ingredients, which is chicken broth, water, and diced tomatoes. Okay, and we're going with the garlic. So we have crispy bacon, translucent onions, and stinky garlic. Mm. Back over here we add a chicken broth water and the diced tomatoes. We'll bring this to boil to add our next ingredient which is rice. This gets us to a good boil and probably take 15 minutes or so then we'll go from there. What we're doing here is adding the collard greens. We cook the garlic until you just can start to smell it. You throw in these collard greens and fry them up until they start to welt. wilt. Here we're starting the carrots. I'm gonna have a fire underneath and get some more charcoal going myself. Uh, cook these for about 15 minutes until they start to soften up a little bit. Then we'll add our other ingredients. Okay, I'm setting up the coals for the cordon blue. I had them on top of that other one, but it wasn't working out because I need to get in there and stir. So Got the chicken cordon blue on a fairly medium heat on bottom and a little hotter on top. It's starting to wilt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have the collard greens in with the bacon, onions, and garlic, and we're going to wilt these down, and then we're going to dump in some chicken broth. And where is the pepper pot? Hot pepper flakes. <laughs> okay. 
and salt. And then move that around. The last ingredient in this is chicken broth. What do you call for by a cup? I forget. That ought to be enough. Yes, no? Yeah, more. More? Well, we'll add it as we go. If it cooks it down. Uh, there's plenty in here. Okay, so this now just needs time. Collard greens. And now I have to get my stuffed apples going. All right. What we are making is a stuffed apple. And this is raisins, walnuts, cinnamon, nutmeg, and it will have honey and orange juice concentrate in it before we're done here. Oh, brown sugar somewhere. Do those cores go all the way through? No, you have to have a bottom in them to hold the stuff in. What kind of apples? Uh, what kind of apples were they? Honey crisp. Okay, so we've got them all stuffed. We're putting a little brown sugar in each one, a lot in some. And. Where's the last apple? Two, four, oh, there's only six. That's correct. All right. We are going to make an orange juice concentrate mixture. If I can figure out how to open it. It's going to end up all over the ground. The hell's that come loose? Here we go. And honey. Hold on, perspiration time. We don't want any perspiration in the mix. All right, we have, uh, and the honey. Hmm. There you go. That. Do not put your honey in the cooler. It's going to make that a very difficult thing to distribute. Carrots, you want to put uh, charcoal underneath and on top. So basically I have carrots, uh, chicken broth, and a little bit of butter in there, the oil I started with. I'm gonna cook these until they get soft, and then I'm gonna add the honey to this also, and the uh, raisins. Back to my paella. Checking on it, I put a little more coals on top of here also, and this is coming along nicely. It needs to boil, so we can add our in our rice. It's coming along steaming, and we have to add rice to it. Give it some time to simmer there, then add the shrimp, and it'll be done. So we're coming along with everything fine right now. Just a matter of time. Talk to me. Okay, all we're doing is putting the orange juice concentrate and the honey down in the apples. And we're paying the price of having the honey too cold. But oh well. All right, and the rest of it just goes in there. 
take a quick peek at the cornbread, see how it's coming along. It's coming along nicely. Ooh. It's getting to the point. It's going to be done here before too long. Beautiful. So we'll give it a little bit more time. Let me take some of the heat off the top here. Uh, I said the paella is coming along. Just a matter of time with it. And the carrots got a ways to go, so we've got to concentrate on getting some heat on the carrots. Last time I did this ditch, I burnt the top, so I'm being very, very careful monitoring my top coals. Okay, I've got my collard greens in the bottom deep uh, oven. I've got the baked apples in this middle oven, and I've got the uh, chicken cordon bleu in this oven. But I need more coals. So to be more efficient and keep things rolling, you can stack these things. And so that's basically what I've done. Once I get some more coals, I do need a little more heat under this one, so I'll move it over here. But right now, by stacking them, it's the same thing over here. He's using the top coals for this as the bottom for that. And right. I think my bottom cornbread's getting about done, so I'm gonna check it in a few minutes. And it is, I'll kind of remove it and move everything down and stack the two smaller ones and get some more heat on both of them. They need it. So. Come on, check the cornbread. It looks like it's coming along. So, uh, take the paella off and we'll check the cornbread and see how we're doing. You see the holes here. It's getting there. Needs a, it can go for a little while longer, so I think we're okay. What are you looking for? Wet on your knife? Yes. Okay. Okay, to my paella, I have two ingredients to add. One of them is rice. I'm going to add that now. Give it about 15 minutes. Cup and a half of rice, mix it in. And then the other thing I have to put in this dish is some shrimp, which doesn't take long to cook. And this rice will soak up a lot of the liquid that's in here now. I'd be surprised when we're done, it won't be near as liquid. And then give this a simmer about 15 minutes or so. carrots come along here and add a few things in and we'll be done. All right, I'm putting more heat on these apples. They didn't have enough on top. They're supposed to bake. Most of the heat should be up high, up on the top of them. So we're hitting those good here. Burning it. Okay, I'm working on my carrots now. I'm adding the two final ingredients, which is honey. This is a couple of tablespoons, so I'm guessing on that. And uh, the secret ingredient is sherry cooking wine. Add the flavor to it. It's about two or three tablespoons of that. Give them, let them cook here, take some of the heat away. They're, they're getting them done done and I uh, don't want to overcook them and we'll stir these up and like I said, to give them, a, give them a few minutes, take some of the heat off and let them just kind of uh, coast there and we'll be ready to go. Take some of the heat off of this. Right now it's just a hurry up and wait. Yes. And the hardest thing about cooking in these things, in my opinion, is timing. So that things are done at the same time. So what do you got, like an hour in this? Hour and a half? Hour and 15? I don't think we have that long. I think we're coming up on about 45 minutes, aren't we? What do you think? We didn't check the time. Amateurs. I think we it's, got it's, started it's around uh, 3.15 and it's... Uh, 4.45. The part of that time was cooking the, or yeah. getting the... Get the coals ready and yep. everything, yeah. 
I'd say that. We probably didn't have anything on the stove until about 4.15. Okay, we're just doing a collard green stir. Okay, all I'm doing now is checking the chicken. I'm choking the I'm checking the chicken. One sixty five. One seventy three. That chicken's done. Okay, I've got two ingredients I'm going to add to my uh, glazed carrots. I'm adding some cranberries. About a half a cup of pre measured cranberries. See how they go with my sherry and. Uh, so that's ready to get. Honey in there. And then to my paella, I'm going to add the shrimp. As you can see, this is this is bubbling, it's boiling, it's it's done. It's a matter of giving about 15 minutes with uh, my shrimp. So mix it in there a little bit. And uh, we should be good to go. Good. Looks good. I think it's going to be like a, a jambalaya it's, kind it's, of. It's, a, it's a lot of the same ingredients. I agree. Based on the temperature check of the cordon bleu, the chicken, that's done. The greens, I'm going to check here in a minute, and I think the apples will be coming along in about five to ten minutes. Taking some heat off this stuff. My my items are essentially done. Doing a green check. Okay, they need to be tender. Okay, we're all done with except for maybe the apples, and that's dessert. So we're going to give show you the final product here. Here's my glazed carrots with cranberries. Uh -oh. Carrots are soft. Cranberries in there. The next one is what the hell? My Paola. It's mm. basically tomatoes, rice, shrimp, sausage, and seasoning. And the first one I started here with the cornbread. There's the finished product Ooh. of it. It Ooh, looks cool. It, that's beautiful. Look it looks that like cornbread. it's done. So that's all of as pretty a cornbread as I've seen, nice and browned. And it's all good. of it's very hot. So Chuck's here. He's going to do his unveiling. Got the chicken cordon blue. We have the fried or the uh, baked apples that are not quite done yet. So I'm going to put that right back on there. Oh, yeah, good aroma. And the collard greens that I'm going to take advantage of stirring a little while they're in here. Now, these have all been on about an hour, give or take 15 minutes. 
the this took about exactly an hour the apples are going to take about 55 minutes to an hour and 10 it just depends and the collards took a good solid hour yeah, well, thanks for watching hopefully gleaned a little something from it uh like i said our idea wasn't to give you a bunch of recipes just more or less the coordination of doing six dutch ovens at a time uh, anything you can cook in your stove or oven at home you can make in a dutch oven so uh, uh, wish you well and thanks for watching this video brought to you by burnt bent forge That's right custom knives and sheaths thank you for watching Yeah, it did.